Hi, my name is Andre Imbrol. I am one of the founders and directors of Valletta Boutique Living, which is an investment company in Valletta. And uh, I'd like to welcome you to the Alchemy Cocktail Bar, which is one of our concept bars and restaurants at the GAT. First of all, uh, our business is uh, essentially focused around tourism and uh, we felt that Valletta in general has a huge brand name uh, globally and uh, we wanted to capitalize on that brand name. When we started in 2012 we thought that uh, there were opportunities especially because Valletta lacked, uh, lacked everything in terms of tourist offering from accommodation to quality outlets to art galleries anything which uh, typically tourists look for. Uh, and we started exploring uh, uh, areas which can be tapped into and can be developed. As we went along, uh, we saw that what we were doing was being received very well by, by tourists. And 2018 was a culmination of a lot of the work which we have been do doing in the previous years. Lots of tourists, lots of people wanting to uh, visit different places uh, are looking for city breaks and Valletta is perfect for that city break. And we are trying to, to add to, to that particular offering. Um, uh, where we are now is uh, what our latest outlet, which is the Thirsty Lawyer, which was previously the Silver Horse, one of the largest outlets uh, there was in Stray Street in the golden days. Anyone wanting uh, you know, to come to Malta and uh, uh, have an experience, uh, experience live music, can come down to the gut and practically every day there will be something going on. Hi, my name is Marvin Gauci. Um, uh, I am uh, the owner of several restaurants here in Malta. And uh, this is Michael Sultano and he is uh, our um, operations manager in, uh, in Tarragon restaurant. Two thousand and eighteen was a very good year for us. Um, uh, when it comes to tourism, the, the quality of tourists were very, very good, um, much better than previous years. Two thousand and eighteen was a very successful year for us. Our four restaurants in Malta uh, came in the top five restaurants in Malta uh, by the Definitively Good Guide Awards. The key factor for this is to never compromise in quality and uh, always look for, for new, new ideas and new trends and always keep in mind what the client wants, in this case, what our, what our guests want. My name is Mary Grace Lynch. I am the Managing Director of Dreams Planners Limited and I am a wedding planner. We specialize in Indian weddings, so when you do Indian weddings, they bring a lot of their friends and family here in Malta. When people start doing inquiries, the first thing they mention, it's Malta, it's where we just had a Bollywood film being filmed there, so it does make an impact, even when the couple itself, to get their guests to come in here, we're going to Malta, you know, so Malta's being known now to everybody, it's not just the British market anymore, but it's being known globally. Best moment for 2018 is, as always, winning awards. 2019 already looks very busy. Um, we have quite a few Indian weddings coming to Malta, um, Irish weddings uh, from the British market as well. So 2019 looks like a very good year. We are a small business, a small market, a niche market, a very important market, but the MTA is always there to help us out with educational, promotional material, so that helps in, you know, year on year to get business. My name is Shirley Farooja. Um, I have been working with the company for the past 25 years. I am presently in flight manager. 2018 was a very busy and challenging year for me. Before the introduction of the new economy in flight service, I was um, part or I formed part of the in-flight project team. This project was launched on the 12th of July 2018, providing uh, passengers with a new Sky Bar menu experience, offering fresh food options and focusing on quality and choice. Another personal achievement this year was my appointment as in-flight manager. I fulfilled this dream 
um, at the age of 21, my passion to meet different people from all walks of life, to travel beyond our shores and uh, to be of service to, to others have all uh, been instrumental to help me pursue this career. My aspirations in the coming years will be to, to hone my management and customer skills with the goal of moving up to higher positions within my section and create that ultimate positive image for our airline. My name is Matthew. I, uh, I am the general manager of Valletta Boutique Living. Um, I take care of the hospitality and accommodation um, area of, of Valletta Boutique Living. Uh, the main criteria for us is starting from the quality, offering the quality to our clients. So the quality is, a, is an open aspect coming from the safety of our apartments, coming from the uh, cleanliness of our, of our apartments and finally it all boils down to our service and the service we, we give as, as, as our team members. Uh, but clients, uh, obviously being in Valletta, Valletta gives us a great opportunity because it's it's capital city, people are looking for city breaks. The demand was high, in fact, we have seen a larger demand from 2017. We had an increase from 2017. Obviously, you must say that Valletta um, 2018 helped us a lot, but I cannot not say that the tourism in Walter has gained itself and grown itself as well. So we were very, very high in demand. Uh, again, demand in various aspects of our accommodation, but we must say we were very happy with 2018. Philip Gallia, um, Head of Operations and Development Manager for the group, for this group Malta. We are the largest fashion house in Malta. We operate over 25 international franchises. Tourism, the, the sector is very, very important for us. Even when you see the statistics growing year on year, it gives you encouragement to continue to investing in franchises and the brand development in Malta. Over the last years we have developed um, strategic locations to develop well-known international brands to attract uh, more the tourism customers that are coming to Malta to find what they want inside the fashion retail sector. So it's very important for us that these figures continue to, to grow as they are year on year. 2018 was a very um, positive year for us especially due to the fact of Valletta 2018. The people that were spending also were spending more than last year. So the quality of the, the tourists and the increase in footfall did impact our sales. So in that light, we are we're very happy to see the initiatives that are going on to promote um, Malta in, in this sector. Welcome to this wonderful deluxe suite at Hilton Malta. I'm Matthew Mullen, General Manager. 2018 was a fabulous year for us. Um, following on from the EU presidency in 2017, we expected to experience some challenges in 2018, but it, it turned out a very positive year and still showing growth over the prior year, which was wonderful. Through all months of the year, we saw increase in arrival numbers, um, increase in leisure travellers, um, which was wonderful. Um, it was a really strong performance, great conference business as well through the year. The availability of, of seats and flights coming into Malta, the big increase in the number of flights that are coming to Malta is contributing to um, that increase in the off-season months. Our competitive markets are changing, you know, there's new destinations opening up all the time, uh, new attractions, so I think we need to understand what's going on elsewhere in Europe and North Africa. Um, and make sure that we, we stay ahead of the curve, that we continue to invest in, in obviously the flight lift to Malta, but we continue to invest in the infrastructure and the attractions, and most importantly, the quality of the, the hotel product. I think what's great is that everybody works together. Um, there's good communication, uh, people are prepared to listen to ideas, to implement new ideas, but it's a good teamwork, that's, and that's how it should be. Thank you.